Hi, thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings with a very clean 2019 F-250 Ford Super Duty. Here we're featuring our Razor LED mounted right there in the top of the grill. That's a no drill location. You are able to sneak the wire through some of the factory openings in the grill there uh, and you just need to attach it with two screws. We've synchronized those lights together to fire both amber and both white in an alternate flashing pattern. Make sure to check the description of this video for links to all of these purchases and keep wicked warnings in mind for your number one source for all construction related public safety equipment for cars, trucks, vans, boats, buses, SUVs, and everything else that needs safety lighting. We did a real nice amber and white package across this whole truck and as you can see the badges are lit up with an amber white thin x lin series and out back we've used our led haw duo in a high dome version one set white and one set amber for a total of four hideaways in the rear to give him an amber and white flash in each reverse light i do prefer to put four hideaways when a customer requests two colors especially on the super duty because it's quite a large reverse light and when you use a split hideaway that does two different colors essentially it is one half of each color and not nearly as bright as what we're going to see here there's another shot of that badge light we picked a little bit more subdued alternate amber white flip-flop pattern it's flashing three by three it's a six led total light so you can flash that light all six amber white if you prefer but I wanted a little bit of motion on this build so we're flashing that light alternately and also switching the color from amber to white and here's the shot that matters this is about 45 degrees off of that driver's side door and this is what you're going to be seeing as a car the light is exceptionally bright at this angle so it does cover the whole back of the truck basically at a 45 degree angle from the light itself backwards is where you're going to see a great usable spread of light as you can see even as I pan the camera how that light stays bright all right let me pull the truck forward show you the rear here you can see a little bit of that side badge as well as our LED HAW duo now we set the duo in the tail lights on a fast two flash alternate pattern just to add a little bit of speed and a little bit of intensity to the back of this truck because we didn't do anything in the cargo light or any other lighting on this build client request is what you see so we wanted to add a little bit of a extra speed to the rear and punch to that warning and as you can see here's the straight back shot and just for the fun we'll give you the night shot there for a little bit Oh, this is controlled with a single dashboard switch. This truck, unfortunately, was not equipped with factory auxiliaries, so we ran a dashboard switch off the battery power per the customer's request. Very simple. The switch and all of these lights are all going to be linked right in the description of the video, and you can catch all of these products right on wickedwarnings.com, where you can learn about each one of them in more depth. Each one of these products will have a full instructional video as well as a PDF instruction sheet on wickedwarnings.com. And if you need any other assistance, please drop an email to us and we will get back to you as fast as possible. Our email is info, I-N-F-O at wickedwarnings.com. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. This is George and we appreciate you being a fan. Drop a comment, smash that like button. Please hit the subscribe, share on your social media, tell your friends and relatives. And we'll see you on the next video.